All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to have a little talk about F1 2016. We got a release date that is uh, currently set to be uh, August 19th. And uh, I gotta say, from what I've seen so far, you know, the Cody's previews and uh, some of the guys on YouTube that have uh, gotten a hold of the, uh, the, uh, of the uh, preview built there and uh, posting videos and everything like that, I gotta say, I, I'm really pumped for this release. I'm really looking forward to the career mode as it looks to be the most in-depth career mode that's uh, been in the F1 series so far. So uh, really looking forward to getting my hands on that. That means that we need to um, we need to get something out of the way here first. We're, we're going to have to find out uh, what team I am going to be starting with. And uh, well, my guess is, I'm not really sure, but my guess is you probably can't pick some of the top tier teams. So that kind of takes care of that. So we're probably going to be looking at something at the back of the grid. Um, you can probably start with the Manners, the Saubers, the Renaults, stuff like that, the Toro Rossos maybe. I doubt you can start with the Mercedes or the Ferraris or the Red Bulls, but it doesn't really matter. As uh, I said, it looks to be the most in-depth uh, career mode that's been in the, in the series so far, meaning that you can actually develop your car basically from scratch and into an absolute powerhouse of a car uh, within the span of a couple of seasons there. So you might not have to uh, you know, work your way up the ranks like you have in previous uh, previous releases where usually what would happen is uh, you would uh, start out with a with a lower tier team and then do well and you'd, you'd be offered a contract from a better team stuff like that uh, this time around basically what you can do is start out with a manor team and just built an absolute beast of a car over the course of a couple of seasons and and, and maybe challenge for the championship then but uh, what we need to figure out is what team are we gonna be starting our career with uh, and also so uh, what I've done in the past here in terms of um, in terms of career mode, I've always done 100% races. I, I don't think that is going to be the case this year. It, it simply takes uh, simply takes too long to drive a race, uh, including qualifying. You got a full uh, full weekend and everything like that. So usually what it does is take like you know a good three four hours to to actually both you know uh, do the qualifying, do the practicing, do the do the race. And, and commentary and then edit the whole damn thing together and upload it on YouTube. That's uh, that's a good five hours right there. So it's just a little bit too time consuming there. So my, uh, my initial guess is we would uh, probably go with 50% or 75%. Uh, and if you guys have any thoughts on that, I'd love to hear from you. Um, also, you know, it's not like, I don't know, you know, 100%. I've always loved that format. So it's not like I'm ruling it out completely here. I'm just saying initially we're going to be going with either 50% or 75%. I'm not going to be going any lower than that. It just uh, it gets uh, it gets a little bit uh, gets a little bit too I don't know too accessible <laughs> for lack of a better word uh, if you go uh, down further than 50%. So that's basically what we're looking at. So what we need to figure out is which team are we going to be starting our career with and what is the format going to be for the races themselves. I, I will say however I am not going to be starting my career with the Manor team. That is just not going to happen. I want to have some fun as well. There's got to be that outside chance of me actually scoring some points in the first season here with a crappy car. But uh, but still, you know, with the Manor team, I really doubt I'm ever going to get a sniff of the top 10. So what we're looking at, ideally, I was thinking something along the lines of either, the, you know, either the uh, Renault team, Haas is another possibility. Maybe even the Saubers, or or maybe even the Toro Rossos. Uh, I guess I guess uh, you know those are probably the teams we're going to be looking at here. So any thoughts, any input you might have, put it in the comments field below. We'll talk about it. Uh, we got uh, we got a good three weeks until the game is out here, so might as well get that out of the way right now. Also, you know, there's a ton of stuff I don't know about career mode. There's a ton of stuff I don't know about the game itself. Obviously, I'm going to be doing more than just career mode. So anything. Anything uh, you feel I should know about, anything I should be aware of, something you, uh, I don't know, an idea you might have, you know, throw it out there. We'll talk about it and uh, basically go from there. As for the uh, schedule for the career mode, I am hoping, and I say hoping because uh, it really depends on what kind of format we're going to be doing. I am hoping to have at least one career video 
online per week and uh, like I said you know uh, 50% raise might not take too long but a 75% raise well takes a little bit longer to drive it also takes a little longer to uh, to edit down to a to a hopefully interesting and action-packed video for you guys so uh, you know bear in mind that that is what we're looking at here the longer the race is uh, the fewer uploads we're going to be seeing, basically, because obviously time is always a constraint. So, yeah. Also, what I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be doing different stuff than just career mode. I'm going to be doing single races. Some of those are going to be 100%. Some of those are not going to be 100%. There are going to be short races. There are going to be different uh, sorts of challenges that I'm uh, cooking up in my devious mind here. And uh, <laughs> anything, uh, anything just basically from career mode to single races, hot laps, whatever I can think of. So uh, there's going to be a load of F1 2016 uh, stuff coming up here after the release. And hopefully, hopefully, this is going to be a game that pretty much lives up to the hype that uh, that's already surrounding it. Because F1 2015, out of the box, I got to say it right now, you know, it looked pretty. But Jesus Christ, it was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was a crappy game. There was a ton of bucks in it. And it... it the, the, the saddest part is, you know, just to clarify, it's probably a very good game today, and it certainly had the potential to be, but the fact of the matter is, once I, once I you know, got out of it, I never really bothered getting back into it. Also, I, you know, the damage model or lack of a damage model was really, really a showstopper for me. I've always been a guy for... Um, you know, realistic damage, if you can call it that in a video game, but I've always, you know, installed my own mods, you know, making sure that you avoid contact like the plague, because, you know, obviously in other releases, and it's gotten better over the years here, but the AI has never been quite up to scratch, and if there, and if there wasn't an incentive to avoid contact with other cars, it, it was just way too easy here, but uh, anyway, really pumped for August 19th, looking forward to it, I hope you guys are too, I'll see you then, bye-bye.